I wanna be loved by you, just you, nobody else but you. I wanna be loved by you alone. Boop, boop, Introducing the image toolkit. Now I love it when you take a photo, you put it in Photoshop, and it works perfectly with your design. But that is not always the case. Sometimes you get some photos which you need to remove the background or they're maybe too light or perhaps too dark. For this case I have created the image toolkit. You can see it when you double click on the image layer. Above the photos that you have inserted there's going to be a few adjustment layers and I'd like to show you in detail how they work with a real photo. So let us start from scratch and open up the pop-out creator. We open the image layer and let us insert an image. As you can see the image is already black and white and that is due to the very first layer above it which is called black and white. And the first thing that I notice when I look at this image is that it does not have enough contrast. So I will take the brightness contrast final layer and double click on the icon and I will bump up the contrast until I get a very nice hard contrast like image. The next step would be to get rid of the background. Now there is a few ways to do this, but since the background is already almost white, we're just going to use the burn and lighten layer to get rid of it here. This layer works in the same way as the dodge and the burn tool works, except for we will use the brush and use the white and the black to achieve the same results. So if I take the brush, white, and set the opacity to about 40%, and go over the image, you will see that it makes it lighter. And if I take the black and do the same, it will make the image darker. Because the background is almost white already, I can just go over the background. You can see that it makes it almost white, which is exactly what we need. Using the same technique, I will now take the brush, set it to about 10% opacity, and darken the areas which I think should have more contrast. For example, the lips, the eyes, the eyebrows, a little bit of the ear, the chin. And on the other side, I will take the white brush and start to lighten the areas which I want to see more color in. For example, the hair, this feather in her, uh, some areas around the face. Once I think the image looks pretty good, I'm going to go ahead to the contrast areas, select the mask, the white brush, and change the opacity to about 50%. So now what this is going to do is going to make a bit more of a contrast area. I will use this to define some certain parts like for example the eyebrows, uh, the ears, the feathers in her hair and uh, some of her hair. It is not necessary to um, use contrast areas, but it does add a bit more to the image. So let us have a look then at where we started and where we ended up. We start with the normal image. We added black and white, some contrast, the burn and dodge, and then the contrast area. So let us save and apply the pop art effect. The layer image has been updated, so now we take out the PopArt Creator plugin, select Create PopArt and press play. I would say this is not so bad, but I would like to have a bit more contrast here, because I cannot see her forehead. So we go back to the layer image, this opens our toolkit, I'm going to take the light and burn, select my brush, make it black apply it to maybe 20% and I'm going to burn her head a little bit. OK, I will now save and go back to the image and you can see it has changed. I'm going to apply the same bit to the nose and in this way I update the layer uh, if I want to make any adjustments. If we now zoom in, we can see the quality. And there is one more thing that we can adjust. It is the halftone pattern. 
If we go lower down where it says color half tone, we are able to change the size of the actual tone or the dot. So at the moment it is set to 6, we shall set to 7. Press OK and you can see the half tone has become bigger. To do this, we double click on the color half tone and we change the number here. Here's one more thing that we can adjust, which is the contrast layer, which is clipped to the image. If we double click on the icon, we are given the options to make the image darker or lighter. Let us see what the final result will look like. I wanna be loved by you, just you, nobody else but you. I wanna be loved by you alone. <laughs> and uh, let's compare the before and after. This is before, and this is after. There is one more last feature I'd like to show you. It is the cutout folder in the image toolkit. It is right here. If you have a background that is very complex and you cannot just lighten the background so that it looks right, then you can cut it out. I am now going to use the pen tool to trace around the image. When I am finished, I will press Command Enter to make that into a selection. Then press Command Shift I to invert the selection and press Command I to invert the colors of that mask.